Alex Skyrock and welcome back to another new video. Today we're here in Alaska watching the 50th anniversary of the Iditarod. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the 50th anniversary of Iditarod 5 time champion, Dallas Seaman. We should come here next year, 2023. <laughs> The Iditarod is a 1,000 mile dog sled race, which starts in Anchorage, Alaska and ends in Nome, Alaska. When the race starts, the races are separated by a two minute interval. This year, 20, 2022, the race consisted of 51 mushers. On his way to Nome. Fur Rundy Festival in Anchorage is held in the last week in February and runs through the first week in March, which kicks off the Iditarod dog sled race. Let's see if they're faster than a reindeer. There are a lot of free, fun activities and events for 10 days. Running of the reindeer is one such event. Do you think you are faster than a reindeer? The first year that this was held, the reindeer refused to run until a female reindeer was included and started first. Haha! <laughs> now it is an annual event which is unique to Alaska. What do we got here? How happy do these dogs look? They're ready to pull their mushers just over a thousand miles through snow-covered lakes, forests, and frozen ocean bays, and hoping not to run into any moose or other animals that may cause trouble in the teams. These mushers and dogs may face freezing temperatures, strong winds, and grueling guided ride trails. Mushers are pulled from a minimum of 12 dogs and a maximum of 16 dogs. Here's where they start their journey. On short runs, sled dogs can average 20 miles per hour, and on longer runs, they can run 10 to 14 miles per hour. The dogs can travel over 90 miles in 24 hours, pulling 85 pounds each. So they just finished off setting all 51 dog teams off into their journey. They have about a thousand miles ahead of them. They start on Willow Lake and they're ending in no. So good luck to them. Hey guys, we're in Wasilla, Alaska, and this is the museum for the dog sled racing. So currently right now, the competition is still on, and this is the CV family. They have three generations, the grandfather, Dan, he raced in the first um, dog sled race, and then he had a son named Mitch, and he's won a couple times, and then he had a son called Dallas, and he's won five times. So currently, Dallas and Mitch are both racing right now. A little bit of competition in the family, I see. So let's head in. There are plenty of rules for the Iditarod that the mushers must know, which include how to deal with wildlife, emergencies, and watching out for the health of their sled dogs. So this is the father of the Iditarod. His name is Joe Reddington Sr. He has a special love for sled dogs. He's learned to mush from old timers who use sled dog teams to carry the mail or run tra trap lines. Later, he put his teams to work retrieving military aircraft crashed in Alaska wilds. So that's pretty cool. The cold is actually a good thing for the dogs. If the temperature gets above 20 degrees, the dogs can overheat. This is why mushers will mush through the night with cooler temperatures. So this is the tree that it looks like they hang all the dog booties on. Um, so the dog wear these to not get frostbite when they're racing. And so it looks like after every year they hang them up. Aren't these 
little cute. These look like the dogs' houses. If you look at them, the houses look like that Alaskan flag. In the summer, you can even come out here and they will even take you on a ride and the dogs will take you around. So if you're ever in Wasilla, Alaska, you can come here and come check it out. It's pretty cool. Well guys, this is about the end of the video. If you guys did enjoy, uh, please subscribe, please like, and guys, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye!